Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to study circles. And this is an introduction to circles for about fourth grade level. And first of all, we want students to kind of think that what is a circle? Well, they know what is a circle, but why are these not circles? Let's let them think about that for a minute or two. Why is this not a circle? Why is this not a circle? And that is to, to develop them towards the definition of a circle. And um, the definition of a circle has to do with the fact that there is a center point and the distance from the center point to the outer circle line. If I go from here to the circle line or if I go from the center point to the circle line, that distance is always the same, right? Whereas in this round thing here, the oval, you could say it has a center point, you could say it is symmetric, just like a circle, but the distance from here to here, or here, this, it, it varies. So that's why this is not a circle. So the crucial idea in a circle is to have the center point and to have the radius, this distance here, radius, so that this distance is always the same when you go to the circle line. And there are three different, three important terms to learn about circles. They are diameter, radius, and circumference. And they are difficult for children to remember at first. Radius is the distance from the center point to the outer circle line. Diameter is the distance from the circle line or the circumference to the other side of the circumference so that it goes through the center point. And then circumference is the actual circle line itself. And uh, the main thing I want children to do in this kind of lesson is to draw circles. So at first they need to learn to use a compass and practice drawing different size circles just to use the compass so that the radius is given or, or maybe some circles where they just draw any circles, any circle, and then draw a circle with the given radius. For example here 18 centimeters. And then they will also draw circles with a given diameter. For example, if I say draw a circle with a diameter of 30 centimeters, then one has to think that, well, actually you need the radius to be able to draw it with the compass. So let's look at a compass. Now here I have a compass that's meant for whiteboard use. And uh, a compass that students will use, uh, usually metal, they have a metal point here, that you put on your paper and this one has like a cup like that. How do you see it? This distance here is the radius of the circle. Okay? So if I want to draw a circle with a radius of 18 centimeters, I need to first measure 18 centimeters. My compass doesn't have any way of showing me when this is set to 18 centimeters. So I need a ruler. This time I'm gonna draw here a line that is 18 centimeters. Then I'm gonna take my compass and use this as a radius. In other words, I will set the compass radius to 18 centimeters. I'll put the center point of the circle here and then s widen this just so that I get exactly 18 centimeters here. Okay, ready to draw like that. And now I'll try to go around with this tool. there. This, this whiteboard compass is not very good, so I'm happy to get this kind of a circle using it. And like I said, children just need practice using a compass. And they can also draw a circle with a given diameter. If I say that draw a circle with a diameter of 20 centimeters, then they need to take half of that, the 10 centimeters as the radius, and set their compass to 10 centimeters and draw a circle. Another exercise children like is to draw concentric circles, and that means circles with the same center point. For example, if I have a center point here, I'm just gonna sketch a few, and I would draw a circle like that, and then another one that also has the same center point but is bigger, and then maybe another one yet bigger. So children like this kind of exercise, and they can use different colors. Now let's go on to some other drawing exercises. Here I have, draw a circle inside the square so that it touches the sides of the square. What I mean is a circle here, like that. 
and uh, you could of course just kind of eyeball it but that's not going to be totally exact to make it really exact and nice you have to first find the center point of the circle so that you can t set your compass put your compass into the center point we need to find the center point for the circle and then after we find that then we will set the radius to exactly this much and then we go around and make the circle but how do you find the center point of a square? I'll show you the solution now we use a ruler and draw the two diagonals and then where they cross is the center point point. and students need to draw this as exactly and accurately as they can so that their drawing will not look a little bit off now you're ready to take the compass and put the center point here and then set the radius to this distance here so that it would be exactly touching the sides of the square so over here this is not exact there it's probably as good as I can get with this compass another nice drawing exercise here is copy this design and before you just start drawing circles randomly or eyeballing your circles you need to think what principle is here what principle was used drawing these circles and the principle has to do with the center points of these three circles if, you, if I draw the center points here maybe you'll see it okay those three center points are all along the same line right and they are the same distance apart from each other and when I'm drawing circles with the compass I need to have the radius and I need to have the center point right so I could copy this design by first drawing my center points three points on a line so that they are the same distance apart maybe I will choose for example 10 centimeters apart 10 centimeters apart like that so that's one way to draw it okay draw a line and then draw three points there and measure those some distance 10 centimeters or whatever you want and then when you have your three points you use them as center points and you use this distance as a radius and you get it done I'm gonna show you though a little bit different method just a little bit different almost the same and for this method I will use a ruler to draw a line and then on this line I will draw just I will mark just one center point for my first circle that's gonna be the middlemost circle okay and then we'll see I have my compass and I will just draw any circle here using this as the center point there and now the next two circles their center points will be here and here where the first circle is intersecting the line okay so now I'll put the center point here Excuse me. Okay. this there and then last one here this whiteboard compass is a little flimsy and it doesn't draw perfectly but the students will get much better and much more accurate circles on their paper so here it is, the design has been copied have fun drawing! <laughs>